Hey everybody, Chris Farad here, and welcome to The Medium by Bluebird Team. I'm just going to make a recommendation before we start. Lights off, headphones on, volume up. Just set the vibe, let yourself get into this. I'll be releasing a video of this every day at 3 p.m. Eastern until it's done. Here we go. It all starts with a dead girl. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. The girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. If they only knew. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father. Dress him up for his last journey. Put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Cool. What a good opener. A uh, couple of things to unpack there. It seems like what I noticed is when we're sitting at that table, she made two drinks, right? And she looked at somebody in the eye at the end as if she's conversing with somebody. And she's got her face is dirty. Her fingers are dirty, which might be referencing... Uh, the dream that she has where that she talked about the girl running through the woods and then it ends with that gunshot. <laughs> I don't know, but we're in for something pretty cool, I think. Okay, so let's, uh, let's check this out, shall we? What do we have here? October, so this takes place in 99. What do we got? Funerals. Let's take a look here. So, Memorial of the Holy Guardian Angels, Funeral at 10, Ultrasound, Our Lady of the Rosary, Biopsy, Send Package to Marianne, Neurologist Visit, Funeral at 1230, Ultrasound, Neurosurgeon Visit, 
Funeral at 9, funeral at 11. Okay, so this has got to be... This is an occupation. This is not like just bad luck where everyone around you is dying. This has got to be the occupation. But the ultrasounds, the neurologist visits, I'm guessing some type of biopsies, some type of cancer, maybe brain cancer. Pick up Marianne from the train station. And then uh, November, All Saints, All Souls, and surgery. So I'm curious to know what date it is right now. So we could maybe reference that, but. Oh, this is, this looks really cool. The camera angles too, that reminds me of Resident Evil quite a bit. Jesus. Shit. Hello. Yeah. Nice to see you too. And so we're Marianne. Looks like he was supposed to pick us up. Don't know if that happened. Let's follow the cat. Whoa. Is it just me or did the rooms look? Next room. It's like he never. Damn it. The rooms look real. Like very well done. Jack was a humble religious man. He ran a funeral home and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. So. We're, we're here because we have to, I guess, bury our father. Is Jack our father? We're calling him Jack. I don't know. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Hmm. Keep hissing at me. Oh, Who do you think is going to feed you now? Doesn't like me. We can't pet the cat, it seems. Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. So religious man, Solidarity Movement. What else do we know about him? Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? Nope. Okay. Let's do this the other way. Press and hold LB to activate insight. Oh, cool. Can we just do this whenever we want? There you are. Nice. So our ultimate goal here is to say goodbye to Jack and get to the funeral home. We have his tie clip. We have a funeral home key. Yeah, even the menus give me Resident Evil vibes. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> I don't know about this. So I'm like right into this already. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. Time to say goodbye. We definitely have to check out the rest of the house. Oh, cool. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Yeah. I used to have a thing for them. That's a little bit more than a thing. I don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack now, knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. So he really took care of us. Like, it seems like we had a really, really tight bond. Why the butterflies, though? I'm not sure. Typically, butterflies are used to reference something called the butterfly effect, which is like, you know, the theory is that a butterfly, a butterfly flaps its wings and just the flapping of the wings changes the way that the air moves, which impacts the way that people interact. And then it, it's basically a ripple effect. The idea is that a butterfly can flap its wings and change something greater. Uh, down the line. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept okay. coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. Okay, so we were a foster kid. 
And as we got older, we started going back to take care of these kids, play with them. That's okay. Spirits. There was a time I'd try to run from them, to ignore their calls. Matthew was the first one I helped pass on. What? That, that's very unsettling. I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. So it says, Dear Mr. Orkin, we must request you to attend the next parent-teacher meeting as we would like to discuss with you the situation that took place last Thursday. To recap, Marianne gave one of the students a message from his recently deceased grandmother. We understand it was Marianne's way of consoling her fellow student, but we're sure you realize that this behavior is inappropriate, to say the least. Given that this is not the first behavioral problem we've informed you about, we believe it's high time for us to meet and talk about Marianne's future in our school. Okay, so... Obviously, we saw that insight power that we have. The name of the game is the medium. We can converse with people from beyond. How did this happen? Where did this start? That's... I'm into it. And was there something else there? One second. Yeah. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? <laughs> I was such a dork. I see you admission. Pretty sick, huh? So this is us going in. We don't have a last name. Three years old. Initial diagnosis. Second degree thermal burns covering 35% of total body surface area, trunk and upper limbs area. Suspected inhalation injury. Care management and stabilization. Early wound coverage. Respiratory support initiated. Fluid resuscitation initiated. Pain control initiated. Patient placed on high flow oxygen until carbon monoxide poisoning is ruled out. So at three, she was in a fire. And she got second degree thermal burns. Which I think means not like directly on fire, but the heat caused damage. Oh man, okay. Oh, okay, let's feed the cat. There's got to be food around here somewhere. Looks nourishing. <laughs> yeah, nourishing and open. We could have at least gotten a, the fresh can. But it was hissing at us, so this is like a little comeback, maybe. Here you go. What's your face? Glad to see you're still kicking around. Famished feline. We don't even know the name of the cat. <laughs> What's your face? Symbolic funeral of the Sirtsa mine. So this is Friday, November 5th. Presuming that this is today, but it might not be. It might be a little bit before we got here. What do we have here? Miners from the Sirtsa mine came to work today as usual, but instead of flashlights and pickaxes, they carried a black casket adorned with lit candles, a symbol of their company's demise. This is not the death of our mind, says members of the Search of Mine Rescue Committee. We will not let our jobs be buried. This casket is meant for the Vistula Coal Company, they add. The miners have also announced that they will come to work tomorrow. They refuse to accept that the Search of Mine was liquidated. Meanwhile, their colleagues continue to protest under the company's headquarters in Taikai or Taichi, building a symbolic wall in the entrance. Each day, they add another layer of bricks. There are only five left until the wall reaches the ceiling. NATO's new mission, projecting stability in a post-Cold War world. Earlier today, US President Bill Clinton. Okay, so this is set in, I guess, as much reality as, as possible for 1999. Delivered a major foreign policy address to commemorate the fall of the Berlin Wall. The president commended the progress that was made in the last decade towards strengthening democracy in Central and Eastern Europe, while also outlining the challenges that lie ahead. The U.S. leader also emphasized the fact that his country's leadership and involvement have been critical to Europe's peaceful transformation. 
President Clinton's vision of an undivided, democratic, and peaceful Europe has now been furthered by another key achievement, the induction of Poland, Hungary, and the Czech Republic into the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. By doing so, the NATO leaders are hoping to strengthen these young democracies, ensuring their fu further contribution to the security and stability of Europe. All right. I can't believe it's all still here. Cool. What is this? How to develop photos. Illuminate photo for five seconds, multigrade for three seconds, uh, dip in stop for three, and dip in fixer for three. Multigrade. Can't read that one. Fixer. So presumably these are in order. Hmm. I guess I forgot about this one. Huh. I can do it now. Okay. So illuminate for five seconds. We'll place it under here. One. Oh, two, three, four, five. It's beautiful. What a great shot. And then three seconds each. One, two, three. Yeah, it's coming in. One, two, three. One, two, three. That was the last photo I took of you, Jack. Nice shot, actually. Shit. Oh, and look at the uh, the tie clip is on there too. That's cool. Okay, so if we need to develop photos, I suppose this means we'll probably come back here. Nineteen eighty four. Interesting. Very interesting. That's a really cool cover. Now, is there anything? Can I, like, inspect this with our power? I'm not sure. We'll probably get prompted on when to do that, but... It's got a copy of 1984. I don't know why that would be suspicious or anything. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Oh. Oh, that would make sense, actually. As a medium, you're conversing with people from uh, beyond, and you have a constant influx of people that have passed on. That's, uh, that's kind of neat. Powers aside, it reminds me of the TV show Six Feet Under with, I, I think his name is Michael C. Hall, the guy who plays, is now known for playing uh, Dexter. That's like his most famous role. But uh, one of his breakout roles was in Six Feet Under, a very amazing TV show about a family that runs a funeral home. And one of the best endings of all time in any TV show. Really, really exceptional. Just checking to see, like, if we can interact with any doors or if it kind of guides us. Taught me to accept my condition of all my foster parents. He was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. Of all my foster parents. Okay. So we've gone through this. We went through that process a few times. The controller's vibrating. I don't know if that's like a, 
a sense or something, or if it's just the rain. Last goodbye funeral home. Curious. See that that bumper is like flashing? Doesn't seem to be anything there. But the rumble is like varying degrees of intensity. I can't tell if it's positional or it's just the rain. I'm going to go with just the rain. And now it's stopped. Yeah. Who doesn't? Inner investigator. Need to get out. Just check in the hall. The lighting is like... <laughs> the visual style of this game is really, really... I'm just, it's like resonating with me. It's so powerful. Uh, okay, here's our entrance. Jack's in the prep room. Prepare Jack for his last journey. That's an interesting way of phrasing it. And I guess, like, through the eyes of a media, maybe we'll learn more about what that actually means. Oh, weird. I don't remember locking it. Oh. The key should be in the office. It's a nice place. I guess these are the urns that they would sell. Paintings on the walls. I'm curious if that because so Bloober Team has made Observer, Layers of Fear, One and Two, Blair Witch. There's probably references. I don't know if any of these paintings would be from Layers of Fear or not. But ah, there we go. Here it is. It's a nice picture. Not a man of many emotions, it seems. What's this? Record of funeral, Adam Novak. Family contact, mail, uh, date of birth, February 5th, 76, or May 2nd. Uh, mother, Hannah, father, Stanislaw, university student, married, date of death, 9 10 99, car accident. Oh, so he's like young. Additional services, embalming, dressing body, flowers. Jack, Mrs. Novak brought funeral payment confirmation today. It's in the cabinet. Also, Robert took Friday off, so we'll need to find someone else for the funeral. Marianne. Okay, that's from us. Okay. Huh. Deep roots in the tree. Like, the tree is symbolic of family a lot of times, but who knows? It says here payment. It's in the cabinet. I don't know if that's something we need to look for. Assume probably not. I want to say that if I was in a funeral home scenario like this, it wouldn't freak me out, but I think I'd be lying. <laughs> I think it would. Not sure if I'm ready for this. Oh, 
Ja. Hey, Jack. We have the tie clip, but we need got your special clip. Yeah. No. Where's your tie? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Combine clip with tie. Easy. Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it, it just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. But am I? I'm feeling major vibrations again. Again, I don't know if that's relevant to her f powers or feelings, or if it's strictly like we were rolling that cart in and it's vibrating on the rollers and then the rain previously. Oh, can't you people read? The signs that's closed. <gasps> <laughs> I would be out of there. I'd be gone. Now I would definitely be gone. Check upstairs. Can I take a weapon? A scalpel? Oh! Look at the look at the look at the shadow on the stairs. Oh, I don't like that. Whoa, dude. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. What? Okay. Okay. Uh Oh no. Something's in there breaking stuff. Please be the cat. What the hell? Whoa. Okay. I don't think it's the cat. Wait, is it the cat? I just heard hissing. It might actually I guess oh! you felt it too. Huh? The cat is here, but I don't think the cat did this. And then it happened, as it did so many times before, just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, where is that darn notebook? I'm gonna be late. I need to find that. Marianne? Oh. Oh. Marianne, are you... Are you crying, my child? I... It's fine, Jack. Now, you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. Probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I, I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just... What? Let it go. Uh, it's not important. You... You are crying. What's wrong, dear? <gasps> oh, why is it so cold in here? <laughs> Where is the 
Vibrations again. So maybe it is connected. That's really powerful. That is, I don't think Most I've seen anything would like give that. Most anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. Ho oh, ho. Is your necklace a butterfly? I used to think butterfly? everyone saw the world the way or I half? did. Maybe. Divided. Torn between two realities. But no. I was the only one. Oh. Or so I thought. Oh. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look. If this is a joke... I... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh. there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. Oh, he didn't. What did you say? Neva Resort. Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Shit. <laughs> that was our opening line. It all starts with a dead girl. Wow. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> 